I just finished at the doctor for my second CTG and um, yeah it's a long explanation but apparently when I, I had a few contractions while I was there and the baby reacted um, not completely bad but bad enough that she wants me to go get it looked at so she basically said it's not an urgent but um, she thinks it would be best if I got induced because it's something that you can watch slowly I guess and if we were to wait then it would be like we have to be fast and like react faster so I'm not really sure what to think right now but she gave me a thing to go to the hospital so we have to go now and um, get it checked out and then she said that it could be that the hospital sends us home again and all is good but we just have to be make sure but she said it's very likely that the baby needs to come this weekend because just if he's showing any signs of stress and you don't want him in there longer than he needs to be. Of course, Remo wasn't there for this. <laughs> so I just called him and we'll just head there and see what's what. Do you want to explain? What do you have? Did you do it already? Yeah, I did that. Oh, okay. getting a CTG and they want to make the kid move so they gave me this thing it has lemon on it like scented lemon and I have to smell it and it's like making him move yeah it actually works you see like here the, these little um, bars that indicate movement and they increased right when she got it so didn't expect that to work yeah. Just got my epidural. Feeling a lot better. Was feeling pretty bad. So I didn't sleep at all last night. And at like four or something in the morning, my contractions got to three minutes apart. So I went to the Chrysal here and told them and then they monitored me and basically invited me here so I called Remo then I then I labored here with the worst contractions of my life for like how many hours do you think? I got around five so around four, three, four hours and yeah then I barely just got my epidural which is really nice Last night when we came in, it seemed like they wanted to get the baby right away and um, initiate, artificially initiate the, this, uh, what do you say? Uh, induce. Induce the um, birth. But they were really busy last night too, and so they didn't have like an opening pretty much. <laughs> yeah. And so they were just monitoring the kid, made sure everything was okay, gave brief fluids, and the kid was fine. And so now, the next morning, and so Brie was pretty much like in labor all night. During my last CTG, it was like 11 p.m. It was like the last time they were gonna do it before I went to bed. I was just sitting on there, and my <laughs> I heard this loud pop, or I felt a loud pop, and my water broke <laughs> like right on the table. It was like the movies, like gushing everywhere, like it got all over everything, <laughs> and. It was really lucky because my body just went into labor itself. Like I was only one centimeter then, and so they sent me back to my room and basically told me like if the contractions get too much, like come back. And so then I went back to my room and 
I was up all night, but they started like 20 minutes apart, so I tried to sleep in between and then, yeah, you know, the rest. And we tried to ha get a second bed for me so I could stay, but that wasn't possible. And then in the middle of the night, when they determined that it's gonna like, not happen before the morning, I went home for like I went home for like three hours, right? Yeah. I slept two of those hours. Yeah. Two when you came back at five. Yeah. Right. Mm. What was difficult was that we didn't know when we would be able to get the epidural because I only had one. An anesthesiologist. Anesthesiologist. Um, and that that woman, the doctor, was um, actually on an operation, like busy, so she couldn't come. And we were really worried that we would miss it. I wouldn't get one at all. Mm -hmm. I worked out in the end, so we were really happy. Yeah, she came. They told me one to two hours, and that was like literally the worst news you could tell me. I remember I told Rima like I can't do it then. Like I can't, can't do this. Yeah. Because it was just like one to two hours of more attractions just seemed like <laughs> the worst. But anyways, yeah. I don't know how long actually it was, maybe an hour. I think she took about an hour and a half. Oh, no. So this video um, was basically the highlight of what happened and we didn't explain anything really the whole story and so I plan on doing a video explaining the whole story and my experience giving birth here in Germany. Also there's a baby crying <laughs> so if you're interested that will be up very soon and also yeah so thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>